Bill O'Reilly here, Friday, January 31st, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. Well, we're finally here. After months of campaigning, millions of dollars spent, hundreds of campaign events, voters in Iowa will cast their ballots in Monday's caucus, the first contest in the 2020 race for the White House. The Iowa caucus has a strange history dating back more than 100 years. Since 1917, political parties there picked their presidential candidates by what is called a, quote, gathering of neighbors. Instead of traveling to the polls, Iowa residents meet in schools, churches, and libraries. Rather than casting a vote, Iowans stand in a designated spot like a classroom to indicate their support for a specific candidate. For roughly 30 minutes, participants try to convince their neighbors to switch their ballots. After multiple rounds, a final headcount decides the winner. In 2016, more than 175,000 Iowa Democrats took part, about 5.5% of the total state population. Critics of the caucus say the state's demographics give Iowans a disproportionate amount of power in the primary nominating process. The state is 90% white, nearly 20% over the age of 65. The biggest city, Des Moines, has a population of just 200,000 people. While the Iowa caucus has a poor record for picking presidents, it still plays a major role in the Democratic Party. Since the year 2000, every winner has gone on to claim the nomination. Al Gore, John Kerry, Barack Obama, and Hillary Clinton. But only Mr. Obama would go on to win the White House. In 2016, Donald Trump lost Iowa to Ted Cruz and then told voters in Des Moines, hey, you guys haven't picked a winner in a long time, I hate to remind you. Right now, current polling has Bernie Sanders leading with 24%, followed by Joe Biden at 20, Pete Buttigieg at 17, Elizabeth Warren 14, according to a real clear politics average of polling. Whatever happens Monday night, whoever wins Iowa will have a big boost heading into the New Hampshire primary the following week. Bernie Sanders currently leading in the Granite State. My analysis is if Bernie Sanders wins both Iowa and New Hampshire, he's going to have trouble in South Carolina and Nevada. But if Joe Biden wins Iowa and New Hampshire, he's almost a lock for the Democratic nomination. In a moment, how money equals power in politics and in your own life. Back after this. Does your company's website scream 1995? Even worse, do you not have a website at all? If you're not thinking about your company's online presence, you're falling behind. So please contact the geeks at Geek Town USA. Love that. Geek Town USA is your last stop for any website, search engine optimization, or digital advertising need for your business. Geek Town USA can laser focus your marketing dollars on a specific target audience, so you're not throwing money away. If you want to work with an agency that provides world-class customer service that offers the most creative digital marketing solutions, that will collaborate with you every step of the way so you understand every facet of your digital marketing plan, then contact Geek Town USA. Visit GeekTownUSA.com, that's one word, GeekTownUSA, and learn how you can get a custom website started at only $299 a month with our GTU Express model. That's GeekTownUSA.com. Time now for the O'Reilly Update. Message of the day, money, power, and your life. There is no question that if Donald Trump were not a billionaire, Forbes estimates his worth at about $3 billion, he would not be president of the United States. Mr. Trump was able to take his own money, go around the Republican establishment in 2016, and finance his primary campaign, which of course was successful, leading to his nomination for president of the United States. Then, in the general election, again, using a lot of his own money, he was able to outspend Hillary Clinton in a lot of places. And so, Donald Trump's money and fame led to him being president of the United States. Now we have Mike Bloomberg who's doing pretty much the same thing Trump did. Mr. Bloomberg, former mayor of New York City, says 
he'll spend $2 billion this year to try to secure the Democratic nomination for himself, and if he fails in that, to try to make sure Donald Trump loses in November. $2 billion. But since, according to Forbes again, Mike Bloomberg is worth $60 billion, the $2 billion is lunch money. Now, many Americans are obsessed with money, and that is not a good thing. Obsession leads to bad behavior. If you steal, if you cheat, if you use other people, if you do any of those things, the money is tainted and your life on a karmatic level will be hell. You are not going to prosper if you cheat in the money realm. But in this capitalistic system and competitive society that we have in the United States, you need money. And you should be smart about that. Money is power. If you do not have any money, you are helpless. You cannot defend yourself. If something bad happens, you cannot even afford to right the wrong or to buy the drugs you need to combat disease. You need money. So you must think about how to earn it, how to save it, how to invest it, how to improve your economic circumstance. If you're a poor American living in a ghetto, you don't have any control over your well-being. You can be harmed at any time in a variety of ways. If you're a wealthy person living in a huge house with a huge wall and security cameras, maybe even security guards, you're protected. You see the difference? Money is power. It also can buy you freedom. You can travel where you want. You can give money away to worthwhile charities. You can help other people who need help. You have options in life. If you don't have any money, you don't have any options. You have to do as you are told in the workplace. So, in evaluating your life, the lives of your children and grandchildren, it is very important to lay out a disciplined plan to become prosperous economically, to make and have money. In fact, outside of faith and love, money is the most important thing that you can have. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it. For more news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com. In a moment, something you might not know. There are thousands of abandoned animals in the USA that need our help, I am partnering with Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. Founded by actor Leo Grio, who left Hollywood to devote his life to saving abandoned animals, Delta Animal Sanctuary is a -a one-of-a-kind rescue unit. They are staffed by trained attendants who look after each animal, providing them water, treats, toys, and affection. Support Delta Rescue and put your legacy to work. Each life-saving gift helps Delta fulfill their mandate to rescue and care for animals. Request a free estate planning package at deltarescue.org forward slash bill. For a limited time, you can watch The Rescuer free only at deltarescue.org forward slash bill. The Rescuer is an award-winning documentary about Griot's two-year rescue of a family of 21 dogs abandoned in the wilderness. DeltaRescue.org forward slash Bill. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. The biggest sporting event in America is just days away, the Super Bowl. Two teams competing for greatness with 100 million Americans tuning in, hundreds of millions of others around the world. But it's not just a big game, it's a huge business. Here's a look at some who have skin in the game. Starting with the host city, Miami, it shelled out $14 million to bring the game to the Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Dolphins. This is the 11th time Miami is hosting, the most of any city, the local economy expecting a boost of $500 million. Wow. Hospitality gets a big bump, 700,000 visitors descending on Southern Florida, Travel experts say hotel prices surge more than 90%, little profiteering. Local businesses getting in, 
The average tourist expected to spend 300 bucks a day or more. Not surprisingly, the National Football League makes a big chunk of change, tens of millions of dollars. But advertising is the big revenue source. Fox projected to make $5.5 million for a 30-second spot. Can you believe it? Down on the field, players get a bonus. Winners can expect $120,000 apiece, losers half. And don't forget the referees, $10,000 each, even if they blow a big call. Wagering, enormous. Gambling will skyrocket during the Super Bowl. An estimated $325 million of bets on the line. But be careful, 90% of folks lose money on the big game because of the point spread. When it comes to the Super Bowl, money seems to be everywhere, but not in the one place you'd expect, the halftime show. The NFL covers production costs, but they never pay the performers. All of that publicity and TV exposure means that those singing, dancing, prancing, whatever, on the Super Bowl halftime show, will derive millions in publicity and bookings after it. Back after this. Computer systems in cars are now common. There are electronically controlled transmissions, touchscreen displays, dozens of sensors. All this advanced tech is expensive to fix if it breaks. That's why I have Car Shield. CarShield has affordable protection plans that can save you thousands for repairs, including computers, GPS, electronics, and more. With CarShield, you choose your plan and your favorite mechanic or dealership to do the work. CarShield takes care of the rest. They also offer 24-7 roadside assistance and a rental car while your car is being fixed. Free! So drive with confidence knowing you have coverage from America's number one auto protection provider. Get covered by Car Shield today. Please call 800 CAR 6000 and mention code Bill or visit carshield.com and use code Bill to save 10%. That's carshield.com code Bill. A deductible may apply. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs> 